A title fight should never have to end up in a decision. Duplessis was the one selling us this in the whole press conference, talking about how the fight's not going to get into the championship rounds, he's going to knock him out by the third round, and this and that and that. Even he knew that the fight should not have gone to the decision. The fight should not have gone to the judges. One said that he lost, but also the one judge that said that Sean won the fight is actually ranked as the number one judge in the world of combat sport. I just forgot his name, but you can Google it. Google the judges of the UFC 297. The man who um, gave the who, who declared that Sean won the fight on his cards is the number one judge in the world of combat sports. Strickland outperformed, outfought, and just was an overall better contender than Duplessis. Okay, y'all can hate me for this. Y'all can say what you want to say, but Strickland fought a proper fight. He should have gone back home with that title. Welcome back to another episode of Five Episodes of the Podcast. It's Asayo Man Harry OK, and I'm back with a brand new episode. So let's talk on UFC 297 for all my fight fans out there. All the fans that are into the combat sport. We're gonna talk about UFC 297 today. Drickus Duplessis versus Sean Strickland. Or Sean Strickland versus Drix's duplicity is considering that he was a champion at that point in time. And my personal point of view, from where I stand, Duplicy lost that fight. Off the bat, I'm just giving my, my breakdown of what happened. Duplicy lost the fight, and I'm going to tell you why. I know that as a country, South Africa, and as a foreign national who's been residing in this country for the past 27 years, I do consider myself a South African. And I did want Duplessis to win the fight. And by technicality, he did win the fight. And he's coming with the UFC belt to South Africa, which is a very good thing. That's what we all wanted. But then I just feel that a title fight should never have to end up in a decision. Duplessis was the one selling us this in the whole press conference, talking about how the fight's not going to get into the championship rounds. He's going to knock him out by the third round and this and that and that. Even he knew that the fight should not have gone to the decisions. The fight should not have gone to the judges, of which I too agree with this. And uh, like Dana White said in the post co post um, press conference, is that Duplessis should have taken that belt and not be given. Because if you look at the fight, well, as the fight ended, the belt was given to him. He didn't exactly take that fight and, I mean, take that belt. And that's where my problem is. That's why I say he lost. And the stats as well proves that he lost. I mean, he won by one point. And three judges, two said that he won, one said that he lost. But also the one judge that said that Sean won the fight is actually ranked as the number one judge in the world of combat sport. I just forgot his name, but you can Google it. Google the judges of the UFC 297. The man who um, gave the who, who declared that Sean won the fight on his cards is the number one judge in the world of combat sport. Okay, he said that Sean Strickland won the fight. The other two judges are the ones that said Duplessis won the fight, but they're not exactly in the top five ranking of judges. That's another thing. And another thing, stats. The stats don't lie. The numbers don't lie. Round one, Sean had, had, had 34 strikes. Duplessis said 18. Sean won at round one. Round two, Sean had 22. Duplessis had 26. So, Duplessis has one round, one round, right? 
Round three, Sean has 31 strikes. Duplessis has 29 strikes. So Sean has two rounds now. Round four, Sean has 33 strikes. Duplessis has 29 strikes. Round five, Sean has 53 strikes. Duplessis has 35 strikes. So out of, out of all the five rounds, Duplessis only won one round when it comes to landing of the strikes, punches, kicks, whatever. He only has one round out of all the five rounds. Strickland outperformed, outfought, and just was an overall better contender than Duplessis. Okay, y'all can hate me for this. Y'all can say what you want to say, but Strickland fought a proper fight. He should have gone back home with that title. I watched all five rounds, and I was convinced that Sean won the fight. I was so shocked when I saw that Duplessis actually won the fight, and it made no sense to me that he did. His accuracy in the fights... They weren't so good, especially in round five. He was just throwing his hands all over the place. Sure, stamina-wise, he made it through the championship rounds. He was able to adjust each and every single round, and that's a very vital part of combat sport, is, is being able to adjust to the fighter you fight. Every single round, the police was able to make adjustments to what Strickland was bringing forward, but also tells me, that Strickland was dominating the fight. If Duplessis was the one doing the adjustments, then clearly Sean was the one putting the pressure on him. Look, kudos to Duplessis on keeping Sean on the back foot because Sean is a forward fighter. Both of them are forward fighters. Both of them are actually brawlers from my point of view. But then, it, it's just... For Duplessis to keep having to adjust his technique to keep adjusting his um, strategy in every round, it does say a lot. Congrats to Duplessis for taking the UFC, for receiving the UFC championship belt. Congrats that SA has, is now holding the UFC belt. Um, it, it's a good thing, but I don't think, I don't think he fought hard enough for it. He, he needs to go back and prove himself as a fighter. Against Sean, not even against anyone else. Sharp, he was able to take down Whitaker. And that was just mainly because Triple C is a very strong fighter. He has power. And just that one knock was enough to, you know, to disorientate uh, Whitaker. And that's how he managed to win the fight. But then him and Sean went head to head. It was a constant brawl. It was a constant, you know, Tit for tat, I throw, you throw, I throw, you throw. And that was very entertaining. The fight overall was very entertaining. But when it comes down to the decision, according to my books, Sean Strickland won that fight and should have remained the UFC champion, the UFC champion of the world. So that's, that's my two cents. Regarding the headbutt, um, so Sean Strickland did post out on Twitter that he got hit by Ted and it was debated about whether it actually happened or not. I watched the videos today and yes, there was a hit but and it was a thing that opened him up. So another questionable element. Sean Strickland put so much beating on the placid that he left him with a closed eye, swollen face. And the only damage that Sean Strickland went home with was the cut on the eye. And that was not because Duplessis punched him, but it was because Duplessis headbutt him. That was the only reason why Sean Strickland's eye was cut open. And Sean Strickland being Sean, Sean Strickland refused to contest it, refused to let the judge know that I just got a headbutt. That's why I'm bleeding. He, he went for a non-contest and carried on fighting. Because I'm pretty sure too, in, in his mind, he was winning the fight. That's why I was like, you know what? Let me not call this. Let me not interrupt the flow of the fight. Let us carry on fighting. And that's why I didn't call it. But he did get hit. But, and that's the only thing. That was the only reason why he was bleeding. Other than that, Duplessis did not land any significant or massive hits on, on Sean. He just didn't. Sean did the most damage. Sean landed the most strikes. And Sean pretty much just won every single round. 
oh, well, not every single round, that's me exaggerating, but three out of five rounds. Sean won them all. So we need a, we kind of need an immediate rematch. It's going to be hard considering the fact that Duplessis called out easy and Sean is going back now to contender to fight again back to get back to the number one ranking in order to fight for the, for the title again. But it would be nice to see Sean and Duplessis fight again before Easy steps in. And if Easy steps in, would Duplessis still be the champion? That's, 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 that's an easy fight for him. Um, easy will tear Duplessis apart. That's without question. It's just not been an extremely easy fight for Easy. So it will be nice to see Sean and Duplessis fight again before Easy comes into the picture or before any other fighter comes into the picture. It's just been nice to see this still come again, fight again, and actually clear things out because this fight was so tight that the only difference was one point. According to the judges, it was only one point. According to striking stats here, Sean had won all four rounds. Not all, but he won four rounds and Duplessis only went home with one round. And uh, Numbers don't lie. We all know that numbers don't lie. So, an immediate rematch would be nice. I think let Duplessis enjoy his victory. Let Sean also recover from his loss. And then let the UFC put it back together. Probably not UFC, oh, definitely not UFC, not UFC 300. It would be nice, though, to actually see. Come to think of it, it would be nice if Sean and Strickland, I mean, Sean and Duplessis fought in the main card for UFC 300. That might actually, that might actually be very, very nice to see. Because UFC 300, that's a big fight, that's a big card. And currently, right now, Sean and Duplessis are actually a big card right now. Because there's so much for both of them to prove. Not just Duplessis himself, but even Sean. There's just so much for both of them to prove. This fight, 297, should have ended in a knockout, not in a decision. Okay? Duplessis has enough power to knock out Sean. And Sean has a solid jab to take Duplessis out. This fight should have ended in a knockout. So an immediate rematch would, would make sense. It would make sense. And it would be nice to see it in UFC 300. So yeah, that's that's my two cents regarding 297. I enjoy the fight. Comment as well in the comment section if you guys enjoyed the fight and what your opinions were. If you thought Duplessis um, actually won that fight and... Uh, He's the rightful champion, or if you think Sean won that fight, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.